Hey guys, welcome back to the Compai Guy podcast. I don't know why I always <laughs> slap the table whenever I start this, but I think for me that's like my thing of slap like, the bag. But yep. anyway, um, there's some podcasts that you know we 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 keep very professional, and then today this might no. not be one of those those podcasts. <laughs> This might be one of those those interesting ones. That, yeah, we've uh, been talking for half an hour before this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Your eye was bleeding. Have you even, <laughs> haven't even been drinking yet. Well, I have. I've been drinking. That, that's true. We, we haven't drunk, and I was pouring, and it, it went all over my leg. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This is gonna be one of those interesting podcasts. But for sure, we're all, I'm open for it. You know, it's all good. We, I like I like these kind of podcasts. <laughs> We um, don't even know what we're gonna talk about. I didn't even oh, introduce oh, you guys yet. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. No, we're not cutting. We're keeping it all in. We're keeping everything. <laughs> wait, you didn't even drink yet. <laughs> She's not even really drinking. She's allergic to alcohol. So allergic. I didn't even take a sip. Yeah, but you still have, you still have over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll right. talk we'll talk about that in just a bit. But we need to get to the intro, but that's okay. <laughs> We're about to get to the intro. Um please give a round of applause for uh two people who are models. Uh two people who are influencers. No, you guys are both models. Come on, stop it. <laughs> Well, one is a relationship coach, and the other one is also a social media marketer. Mm-hmm. Please give a round of applause for Marie Basilio and Jenny Pereira. Yay! <laughs> well, I gotta, I gotta put Jenny Pereira. This, <laughs> this is Marie, <laughs> because they might, they might swap, they might swap the names. So we don't, have, we don't have time. We don't have name cards over here, so I'm not really sure if people understand. But uh, yeah, thanks for. For, thanks for joining me. <laughs> you, you, almost having des- us. you almost destroyed the set over here. <laughs> we didn't even we I didn't even introduce you. We almost destroyed the set. All right. Yep. First off, let's come by. Come by. Cheers. <laughs> How come my glass is so huge compared to what you guys have? Oh. Mm. I'll be honest, I never had the Fuji Apple one. It's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is but really good, actually. It's refreshing. So the same brand. People can't see the name of it, but it's usually like a lychee flavor. Mm. Yeah, we usually get the lychee one. But um, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's light. It's dangerous. It's, it's like good. juice. It is like juice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I could definitely drink this whole bottle. I mean, we, we went through like half... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're all... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we, might, we might actually go through the whole bottle. But that's the way. <laughs> Getting me at too. Which is good because you know, you know what's so you know what's so crazy, people always like bring alcohol, over. and I, I'm not like someone that just drinks by myself. Okay, yeah, same social drinker. Social I'm, I'm a social drinker, so like when when I have guests that come over and they want to drink water, just water, mm-hmm. I have like I have this whole stock of alcohol. <laughs> what am I gonna do with it? You know, and then you know I I'm not gonna drink with Kelsey because like if we have to go somewhere, yeah, she wants to drive, so it's like okay. That's oh. fine. You know what I mean? So this is how you get rid of your stash. This is how you get rid of my stash. <laughs> I love how in the text message you specifically said, don't bring alcohol. Don't bring alcohol. <laughs> Actually, I, I should have though, because my friend, oh, she no. makes a killer moonshine. So oh, many different flavors. No, it's so dangerous. Yeah. So that's good. dangerous, man. Dangerous, but <laughs> You know what's crazy? I my, my friend brought like Maui moonshine. It tastes like apple pie. Oh, right? okay. Ooh. That one was super dangerous because I downed the whole jar. So good. Oh man. We gotta have a part two with the moonshine. Oh no. <laughs> it's worse than <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh no, yeah. No, no, we can't do it. <laughs> the the, the, the stuff will be destroyed. That Soji <laughs> screen's not gonna be there after Gone. that. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it, eighty percent? Something like that. I don't remember. 80%? 100%? No, it's like a moonshine cocktail. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. It has lychee flavor, Mm. peach whiskey, Mm -hmm. lily koi. Those are my top three flavors. (laughs) Top three. I drank half a gallon. Half a gallon? Half a gallon straight for my birthday like two years ago. What the hell? My tolerance is pretty high. (laughs) She's a fish. That's the well, we, yeah, yeah. an alcoholic fish. Huh? <laughs> Put you in this this goldfish in this pond of like sake and like all this different shit. And then, 
<laughs> and then you're like, oh, the yeah. only one I don't drink is I don't like to drink is vodka. It's the only one that makes me black out. Yeah. Oh, really? Vodka yeah. Fucks me up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, the only thing that fucks me up is I want to say whiskey. I love whiskey. I love bourbon. I'm a bourbon bitch. Like that's that's my shit. <laughs> Old fashioned. I've never heard that oh. term bourbon bitch. Because <laughs> I just made it up. That's I've never heard of a bourbon bitch before. <laughs> I like it. We're going to coin that term bourbon bitch. It's on this podcast. <laughs> We're going to make it a thing. <laughs> We're going to make it a thing. It's going to be a trend. We're gonna yeah, no, I, guys would always think that they can hang with me. And then I'm like seven old fashions in and they're like, what is wrong with you? Like, we, we're topping out. Like, why are you still going? I'm like, pour me another. Like, what You're do you still mean? not drunk. Yeah. Is this a Dave and Buster's? Or no, what? just anywhere. <laughs> anywhere with good whiskey. Anywhere with good whiskey. <laughs> okay, so so what has good whiskey then? Which place? Like here? Um, here? Hmm. You know, Moku's not bad. Moku Kitchen? Oh, Moku Kitchen? Not? They're not oh, bad. Surprisingly, yeah, they do have a shelf. Yeah, they have Angel's a really Envy's. nice shelf. Surprisingly. Angel Envy is, yeah, Angel's Envy is mine. And then Whistle mm. Pig, too. Oh, okay. Those two. Yeah. I don't know why. A lot of people like Bullet, and I'm not a huge Bullet fan. I've heard of Bullet. I've never been to Bullet. Uh, you don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, shots Sorry, shots Sorry, Bullet. Bullet. Sorry, Bullet fans. Hey, shots to Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> no shots fired, please. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I, I was just talking to... Um, Thad, you guys might know Thaddeus Park. Yes, and, love him. Uh, he was just on the the podcast. Oh, he he's was? a he's a club promoter, mm -hmm. but I mean he does other things too. <laughs> he's a, he has a podcast <laughs> as well. Shout out to Thad. Um, he lives in Kaneohe too. Anyway, um, we're we're talking about the club scene, um, as of like like the over the past ten years. Okay. Uh -huh. And like, cause like I used to go to like Ka. I don't know if you guys knew like Ka. Back. It's an Asian I've only club. been here three years. Oh, see, you ever, you ever seen that? I've been here my whole life, but I'm a horrible loco. <laughs> I turned 21 during COVID, actually. For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, so how Where'd was you that? Go, attic? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think we were there at the same time and we just didn't know each other, right? Like, yeah, it was the it. only place to go to during COVID. Attic? Pretty much. Did you go? Really? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm a, super hours. low key. Yeah. Okay. Low key. Well, I, I'm I'm married now, so I don't go to I don't go out as much. <laughs> it was the one of the only places open during COVID, so it was like oh, really? super secret. You had to have a membership or like know somebody to get in. Wow. There was one night we literally got trapped inside because the cops were outside on like their little four wheelers. Now I wanted to go to the oh. car I was to change shoes. During the day. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you were there? I saw all the cops. She, she was a cop. She was a cop at the time. <laughs> Wait, we Jenny was a cop. That wasn't just a costume on NCIS. <laughs> I've Jenny. actually been a cop on NCIS. Oh. <laughs> so I may as well serve myself. <laughs> hey, Maria was, so, Maria was so fucked up. She didn't know what the hell was going on outside. She's like, is this NCIS or what is this? I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Seek it up. I'm under cover. <laughs> yeah, no, it was one of those things. And I mean, like, they cut the music. We weren't allowed to really talk. Oh, it was just, shit. like, silent in there until the cops kind of left. Uh -huh. And then when they were gone, we started partying. My friends snuck out through the back somehow. I, I had a medic with them outside. <laughs> I wish you were in there with me. We didn't know each other then, though. No, we didn't. <laughs> when did we meet? Yeah, when, when did you guys meet? <laughs> we met through work. Like, promo modeling. Yeah. Like 2021? Was that 21? Oh, yeah, December. Yeah. December 2021. Really connected right before New Year's. Mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. That's right, that's right. It felt like we'd known each other for longer. We were just yeah. talking about it in the car. <laughs> just <laughs> eating McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. well, trying to make it look like... It almost looks like you guys are trying to be like a relationship, but they're, they're not together, guys. I promise. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, like we instantly bonded like the first week of knowing each other. Probably... A few days, maybe. She was already, like, staying over. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I gotta, I gotta crash somewhere. She so. moved in. She moved in, basically. basically yeah. Well, I mean, you're here, like, what, five five months out of the year anyway, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. True. Yeah. True. Oh, he's getting hella island fever. Mm -hmm. like, Drive me nuts. This island is too small. Yeah. Because, like, you're always traveling. Like, you were, you were, like, in Japan the other month. I don't mm. know where else. Definitely want to go back for Sakura. Okay. Ooh. You should so go. Is so that now? Going back? <laughs> I'm going so back. that's what you're going back? <laughs> Shoot. I mean, we live in Hawaii. It's so easy to go back and forth. It's True. only a seven-hour flight. 
see, I, okay, I gotta figure, I gotta figure out my trips because I'm supposed to go to. I don't know if I'm going to go to Tennessee. Oh, ooh, for, a wedding. for what? Oh, oh okay, for, for a wedding. wedding. Hi, that's so random. Why Tennessee? <laughs> Yeah, but that's true. Yeah, why Tennessee, right? <laughs> <laughs> why am I gonna go to Tennessee? I don't play music, so you know, it doesn't make any sense for me to go to Tennessee. It's so funny. Like, um, my friend is there recording music now. You guys know Jared, oh. Jared Mang, right? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, he went to Tennessee for like a month. He's recording wow. music with Michael Warren. Um, I don't know sense. He sings country. I don't either, but <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him at work play. Oh, okay. They're really good, but they're recording music. You know, repping the island, and they're, and they're coming back here, and I think they're performing in. And next weekend. Okay. Yeah, at Republic, maybe. Well, but by the time this comes out, <laughs> it's going to be done already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, you know. <laughs> but anyway, shout out to them. <laughs> yes, can't wait to hear the album. <laughs> <laughs> but by the time it comes out, the album is going to be out already. <laughs> And then we'll do a review. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do a review. And then by the time we're done the review, then, then they're going to have a second album that comes exactly. out already. <laughs> That's crazy, oh, though. Yeah, Tennessee, like, I, I haven't been to Tennessee. The only, like, East Coast, I'd say I've only been to Florida. That's it. I think I went, I went on a cross-country road trip with my family, actually. So we okay. went from Houston to New York City to LA and back. Mm. So I, oh. I'm, we hit Tennessee for sure. I think I went to Ruby Falls. I'm also geographically challenged, so if that's not <laughs> where it is... Well, Directionally challenged. <laughs> everything. everything. <laughs> Everything's challenging to you. <laughs> you just challenge the person, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> with the way Ouch. life has been throwing shit at me, I mean, I mean the way you're pouring, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> we all did it. Okay? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm challenged. No, actually, it was us too. <laughs> you know, that's true. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I haven't we're, even tried to pour anything yet. We're pouring, not. we're I pouring will, challenge. We're pouring challenge over here. So <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, Tennessee. Like I've only been to Florida just for like I don't know Disney World. Ooh, I yeah. used to go to Disney World every Christmas. But but see, the thing about Disney World, I, I didn't like the last time I went. Why? That was the first time I've been to Disney World. What time oh. of year did you go? Yeah. I went during the Food and Wine Festival. Oh. And Is that November? It was uh it was <laughs> beginning November. Yes. And you, it's crazy because I... So Animal Kingdom, I thought mm. I was going to hate that one. I love that one. But I love that one. That was yeah. my favorite one. Same. But that was the last day. Oh, I was no. so bummed. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I couldn't even go on this <laughs> fucking Avatar ride. No, you know? did you go on that freaking ride where you're like in the swamp thing? No. Oh, didn't shit. Go. Okay, what about the safari one? No. We had to rescue the baby I, elephant. I, or I saw it and I was fucking. I oh, couldn't go. that was a classic. Oh. When I was a kid, I dead ass thought that these freaking elephants were in trouble. And then, like, <laughs> finding out, as, I'm over here, like, what do you mean? Like, the baby elephant, the mommy elephant, they're in trouble. What the <laughs> fuck is this? What kind of Disney shit is this, you know? But then I came as an adult and then I saw that this was, this was just part of the act. I was like, oh. I, like, I can see a yeah, young okay. Marie. Fucking walking up to like one of the Disney characters. Jumping out of the damn train. Fucking elephants, man. So give me my money back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's not what I signed up for. <laughs> yeah. Give me my two hundred dollars back. Yeah. <laughs> but while they didn't even make an announcement that they're closing that part. You well, still have to pay full price. Well, so so like so well, I went to an Animal Kingdom, right? And mm. but the thing was like, so since it was our last day, we had an early flight. I, mm. Like I, we we didn't get to explore the whole thing to the end, and I was bummed because like I really liked that one. Yeah, oh, but it's then my like, one. but then like uh, Hollywood Studios, which I thought was like, well, I thought it was gonna be good. It's all right. Th like none of this shit was yeah. open, and it was like, was it open? Well, like a lot of it was in construction. I mean, the oh. Star Wars part was open. Ooh, how was that? Was it the new one? It, it was good. I that like if they didn't have that Star Wars part, I would have mm -hmm. hated the whole thing. Did you go to Harry Potter World? My favorite oh. world. I didn't Love get the it. goal. Oh, fuck. No wonder why you hate Disney World. <laughs> you have such bad luck with amusement parks. What is it? <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't amuse me. <laughs> I, was, I, was just, I was just pissed off the whole time. <laughs> you know what you should do? You should go to the ones in Japan. It's Ooh, so much cheaper, yeah. too. I didn't go to Japan yet, either. Then you gotta go. <laughs> Let's go. We're going in two weeks. <laughs> we should go. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm down. I did, I did after that go straight to Tennessee. I, <laughs> I have to go to Texas, so it's oh. fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, Japan. So you guys both been to Japan? I haven't yet. Oh, see? No, we both gotta go. Oh, I thought you've been. No, I've never been. Oh, man. It is, what's crazy is that, you know how 
Disneyland and Universal is like three hundred a day or something.、Mm-hmm. In Japan, it's only sixty bucks. What? Yeah, for a day. Is it smaller? And even the food is, is cheap. It, smaller, it is a bit smaller.、Oh, okay. Makes well, sense. I mean, that's,、uh, the Universal that's、okay. is about the same size, but the rides are smaller. Okay. It's like smaller versions. Why am I drinking this? Because of the construction <laughs> standards or something. Interesting. Because like theoretically, if it you're high enough to. Die then. Wait, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I might be high enough to die. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So like, like the,、uh, what was our ride? The、um, so there's a the height requirement. The Tower of Terror. <laughs> the Tower of Terror. Wait, they have that over there? They do, but it's、what? so small. It's the smallest ride、oh. I've ever been on. Well, then it's not really a Tower of Terror. Yeah, I know. Right. I like, Fuck, I'd be like this the whole time, <laughs> like, fucking turtling in the in the Tower of Terror. <laughs> I would be afraid of just just fucking head bogging myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. <laughs> But yeah. Six, wait, sixty bucks? Wait, makes、yeah. sense. So yeah, like for ed- for anybody, not just、mm-hmm. like residents in Japan. Yep. Oh, what the hell? I mean, even like so, like for Harry Potter World or like、yep. Hogwarts, does like、mm-hmm. like Harry Potter speaking Japanese to you? You know what I mean? Like yeah, in a British accent, and he speaks <laughs> Japanese as well. Yeah, everything's in Japanese. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> <laughs> kind of funny.、Shit. Are you sure it's Harry Potter or like the Ring? <laughs> Japanese <laughs> version. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.、The、I just、ring. like not imagine like you know the little boy from the Ring, like the with the, the yeah, Japanese version. I, I just like that, that staircase this being... scene where she's like trying to talk to him. <laughs> well, that, that's the grudge. That's not the <laughs> Ring. The grudge. The grudge. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I was like, hey, but she understood. Wait, wait, wait. The Ring. She understood. You guys are talking about two different. The ring, I'm thinking, fucking a girl, <laughs>、oh, girl a girl, girl climbing out of a tree. You're right, it's the grudge. It's the grudge. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, remember the little boy? I was like, what movie did I see? I didn't see a fucking little boy in the ring. <laughs> I just remember. Don't. I once I watched the ring, I never put VHS. Th- I I stopped、really? watching. Really? Th- I was like, fuck this. I'm not watching、oh、VHS tapes, man. <laughs> I used to scare my dad. <laughs> I would do the bridge. Oh, know, like, yeah, and、oh、then I had、God. like really long black hair, so I just like flip it over, you know, like <laughs> flip it over and flip it back, and like crawl on the ground、What、and the scare、fuck? the shit out of my dad. I'll disown you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's kind、Hell、of、no. funny because they did disown me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not funny. <laughs> dark humor, dark humor. <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> Dark humor, dark humor, dark humor. <laughs> Jenny and I really love dark humor. See, he was pissed off that you you did the bridge and you fucking you fucked with his mind. He was he's he's gonna look at this now. And he's gonna go, shit. I wish I forgave her, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I used to not care for scary movies, but after watching this movie called It's Following,、oh. it's on Netflix, I think. Uh huh. But it was so stupid. The one, the the, um, is it kind of like a knockoff of the one, um, a silent something or? I don't know if it's a knockoff, uh, but it's basically a ghost that follows、oh, you、mind. step by step, really slowly. Oh,、so、it follows. Only, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the only way is to drive away, and it's kind of like, <laughs> I guess we're really going here, but it's basically <laughs> like. A theory of STDs, <laughs> like you have I, to I, transfer、oh, it. I think I heard、yeah. through having sex with someone, and then whoever you you infect gets the ghost. And right. Some people do their due diligence and and like warn people. <laughs> they're, 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 hey, don't get fucked by this ghost. <laughs> 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 It's awful. Don't get fucked by this ghost. He's, he's coming after you. <laughs> Or it could be a she. I remember one of them was a, like a she too. So. It's kind of like Scary Movie Two. You remember? <laughs> I don't remember Scary Movie Two. What? I don't remember that one. How old am I? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I'm thirty. <30. laughs>、oh, okay, okay, we're still in the same age. Twenty nine. But the thing is, yeah, I don't remember Scary Movie Two. What? Oh, you gotta watch、but、it. I, I don't even. It I don't want to spoil it. I, I, I don't want to spoil it. But she literally has sex with a ghost. Did、yeah. she die? No, <laughs> no, and she falls in love with the ghost、oh, and like she... obsesses over him. Because <laughs> it's scary movie too, right? It's like parody, so、oh. you gotta watch it. No, I'm not gonna tell you anymore. You gotta watch okay, it. Okay, it's going. Shout out to scary movie too. <laughs> Does it have Anna Faris in it? Yes.、Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, she's like in all of them. <laughs> yeah, it it follows. I remember watching that, and I was like, someone could just catch a plane, 
and go to another fucking yeah. country. I mean, what is the guy going to go? He's going to go on the plane and sit on the plane. <laughs> and then like, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here to get somebody. You know what I mean? What, they're going to go to Japan or something like that. But, mm-hmm. Or is he going to go walk through the waters? <laughs> He's going to walk on water? So like, yeah, I remember hey, You should that. infect a millionaire then that's always traveling because I could oh, never catch it. Well, it's true. <laughs> or, that's or, the case. Or what if, what if they're, all, yeah, well, I mean, what if the, the thing is on the plane with them? To right, probably because they could be better like, buy a damn seat. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this fucking seat? Sitting with the person next to you, this is my aisle or window. <laughs> He's riding on the top of the fucking plane on the wing, you know. Like, <laughs> where's this shit chilling? Where's this guy? Oh, I gotta get my. Yeah, he always has like a fucking parachute. He's like, I'm out of this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> Jump onto another plane. Hey, I'll catch a ride with you guys. <laughs> and then you see the fucking ghost fucking parachuting too. No, you see just the parachute. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's gonna be in Scary Movie 6 right there. It follows. <laughs> 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 but like, yeah, I remember seeing that and I was like, wow, this thing moves so slow. It was, it was, mm-hmm. it, it's. And like, it's so painful because it can't. The characters are so stupid. It's like <laughs> it's like one of those Geico commercials where it's like, why don't we just go into the running car? <laughs> you know? Like the whole time, I was like, <laughs> my brain was melting. <laughs> <laughs> and like these are a bunch of high school kids, and like, mm. so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but yeah, like it, it's like the um that the Geico commercial, like oh, it's going to the room of chainsaws. You know what I mean? All. <laughs> Oh, fucking <laughs> all all going there all at once and then like what the hell and the guys behind them just <laughs> judging them <laughs> would you guys ever want to act in a like a scary movie no i laughed too fucking much <laughs> i laughed too much for that shit see the guy coming in hey i'm a bourbon bitch <laughs> you better not fuck with me i'm a bourbon bitch <laughs> fuck you up <laughs> carry my bottle of angels envy <laughs> Running with I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send your ass back to boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to your question, I actually thought of that because that's how actors get their debut. It's like oh, low budget. God, <laughs> you don't have to have a good actor for it. <laughs> so that's how directors get their. But what if they do like famous. a dumb scream though? Like they yeah. like like what if their like scream is like terrible? You know what I mean? You're fired. <laughs> You never make it in the business. Because <laughs> I was thinking like Japanese movies, right? Like Japanese horror movies. Mm-hmm. I mean, they they fuck you up. They like, do. They're super scary. I love foreign yeah. scary movie horror movies mm-hmm. more than American ones. Mm. Whereas in America, it's just dumb blonde bitches. And they're just like, trying to speak to me. <laughs> Jenny's gonna spin. She's gonna break that stereotype. To be the one Asian in the movie that survives. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit what was that one korean movie parasite not well, that really horror but it, it wasn't really horror yeah, but it was, it was like fucking, thriller yeah. right but still mm. that was a really good one yeah i really liked it mm-hmm. well so like what kind of movies would you guys want to like act in or like or like series besides like ncis oh i don't even <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Like sitcoms well, sitcoms like, like a rom-com actually, yeah like romantic stuff is really hard to do because you really have to know how to act. Whereas your funny stuff is a really? bit easier, as long as you have for chemistry. romance. I feel like yeah, it's, I, feel like I, I would easy. want to. I would mm. really have to take acting classes though. Mm. <laughs> it's like you have to cry and it's like a cute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Be the one, you can be oh, the I one definitely. stoic person, just like no, nah, I'm not gonna fucking cry. <laughs> It's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> broke, broke his heart. <laughs> ah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Who cares about it? Hey, go, That's already how she is. Get, get yeah. the fuck back to Bullet. You know? <laughs> she doesn't even need to act. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there, yeah, there, there you go. Fuck myself. your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, can you play a really stoic, like, ro-, you know, like, it, maybe it's like a Hallmark movie. They're like, oh, oh, can you be like, something really stoic and just cutthroat? And I'm be like, oh, yeah, that's me every day. I yeah. can do that. <laughs> Let me try it right now. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Bye. You know, <laughs> that's, <it. laughs> that's all you get in. <laughs> that's all you get. In. <laughs> How about you, Marie? I don't know. What would I? No, you know what? You're a better judge of that. What would I be good in? <laughs> hmm. A scary movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd pay to see that. No, I feel like I I'll pay to see that. Too. I'll see that. <laughs> Romantic comedy. Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm a corny bitch too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this song is gonna come out of my nose over here. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to that yeah. Yeah, cheers to that whole oh, man uh, but yeah see like rom-coms you know mm -hmm. what i mean i think for me like i would want to do like a detective movie mm, okay. oh yeah, i can see you doing that yeah but like i, I want my hat too i'll wear my hat too <laughs> <laughs> just so i rep my brand you know on set the whole time so i'm gonna go in the meeting and be like be like, I'll, I'll do this with you guys, but I need a, I need my merch the whole time. Just put in the contract. Why don't we yeah. just create our own? Yeah, bourbon <laughs> bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Who stole my fucking bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the whole like scary movie. Yeah. Who stole my fucking bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but yeah like uh, like a detective like i've been watching like i'm a i'm a big fan of like like knives out like knives out was really cool for me i haven't seen that you didn't see that mm -mm. with daniel craig nope oh my god there's well, so see, many movies i haven't seen yeah lately i used what? to be a movie buff classic so <laughs> how about like um like uh, other style movies i like i like mission impossible love okay yeah, tom cruise what which one did you watch up until shoot i want to say i stopped at like Four. Okay, that's pretty far in actually. How many are there? I think there's six. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. But there, but there's gonna that's be bad, then. um a two parter, I think. Oh, I don't, I don't know if it's this year. So part one's this year, and then part two is next year or something like that. Oh. So yeah. Eight. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck is up with that these days? Like the movie series, like getting so long. Like they just need to stop yeah. at a certain point. They're just dragging it no, out. Like fucking Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah. God damn, <laughs> my grandkids are gonna see. Well, this. see, we, well, we, we we can enter in Fast and Furious we, with oh, with shit. the van. <laughs> oh shit! That would, be, that would be what I. That's definitely my movie. That that's what That'd I would be. That'd be fucking in. lit right there. Yeah. You know, we'll do something. I'll get my blue car. It'll fucking, I'll race Jason Momoa. <laughs> I'm calling you out, Jason. I'll fucking race you, dude. I'll swim against you too, Aquaman. You fucker. <laughs> I'll probably lose, but. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but you can say you did it. You challenged yeah, him. There we go. I challenge Jason Momoa, but I, I can't challenge him to anything else after that. <laughs> but yeah, like Fast Ten. There's like a shitload of like fast movies mm -hmm. um well i mean like harry potter it was a lot just because of the books it was you know yeah. what i mean mm -hmm. and then like star wars now is like fucking yeah nine movies deep you know what i mean mm -hmm. well actually okay that's just for like the main ones but there's like all these spin-off yeah all these extra mm -hmm. things so it's like i don't know we're, we're planning on making movies i really want to make a like a horror short film Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Oh, that's why we're talking let's about this. <laughs> uh, well, I just thought of it now. <laughs> let's go. But yeah, okay. I, I would. Yeah, I really want to make like a horror short because there's not like not a lot of like local horror movies here. Oh my gosh, could you do someone like Hawaii Hawaiian urban legends? Could. Ooh. Like I don't Morgan's really know Corner. very many of them, so I want to learn more. No, Morgan's Corner is one. What's that? You don't know Morgan's Corner? I haven't heard of What? You've been here your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible local. Well, well, you're terrible local. Yeah. I'm more local than she is. Yeah, you <laughs> are. Joke around, you joke around about this all the time. But then again, she's here five months of the year, so. Facts. <laughs> she, the, next week, she's already going to Japan already, so <laughs> we won't even see her. Um, yeah, Morgan's Corner is uh, Old Pully Road. Um oh uh, i want to i don't want to do you have like, a candle can, I, like, can you tell me a scary story can i hold a candle right here Let's i get the flashlight is fucking <laughs> blair witch style <laughs> i i might get the the story wrong it's a, i'm sorry for those who know this <laughs> because i even though i'm local i you know i don't know the full story i just know where it is <laughs> but um i guess the story goes that morgan was like so there was these two escapees from like uh like jail or like a, maybe a mental hospital. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't remember. People can fact check me, whatever they do, whatever you guys want to fucking do, whatever. I don't have someone that can fact check me right now, 
But anyway, these two escapees, mm. they actually, they uh, raped and murdered this lady named Morgan. Oh my God. At this corner. <laughs> <laughs> and from there... It sounds terrible. like a really bad... No! <laughs> <laughs> It's like a really bad word. It's a bad rom com. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's a bad rom com. Oh, she's gonna hide me tonight. I'm sorry, Morgan. Um, I told you I'd be horrible in a horror movie. <laughs> she's gonna you laugh. Really laugh. <laughs> You're gonna be Morgan, and she's gonna laugh. Like, what yep. the fuck is this? <laughs> get, get your asses back to jail. <laughs> Hold my fucking machete around. Like, yeah. Take your asses back. Yeah, yeah. back. You guys are not gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> touch me at all <laughs> but yeah i i guess i'm butchering it but yeah like supposedly that's where she died in that that area okay and then like she haunts that area i guess i don't know I've, i haven't been there in a long time she haunted like bad stuff happened to people in that area or you see the white lady walking around something like that like people don't get like like cursed or anything when they go there oh, it's, okay. it's just like they go there and they'll see like 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 lights, like they'll see some some oh. strange shit. Mm, okay. Um, but I I will say so. My my friend Stone, <clears throat> shout out to Stone. He was um, he told me this one scary story about him. At it was at his house, and mm. he woke up one time, and he saw in his closet this fucking this green figure. Oh no! Just standing there, like mm. laughing at him. And you still hang out with him? I still hang out with oh, him. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's okay. He's fine. Sure? That, that hasn't happened for a long time. It's not following. <laughs> no, he's, he's good. I'll tell you a story about this chick who asked me to watch her cat. But go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> I, don't know, really. I don't know about that. <laughs> so I'm guessing you don't hang out with her anymore. <laughs> um, or the cat. Hopefully anyway. she's still alive. <laughs> no, oh, oh, Somewhere. Shit. I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. <gasps> Something is following her. No, no, no. Sto- <laughs> stone, no <laughs> it follows on the slow. Slowly oh. creeping up. No, Stone is okay. He's he's fine. He, he hasn't had that happen to him, but like, yeah. Apparently, like it was in his closet, and this fucking green figure was like right there. Oh my god! And this is before people could take pictures with their phones oh, and shit. shit like that. So it's like, damn. I told him, I wish I saw that. Well, okay, no, damn. now I don't. Now I don't <laughs> wish I saw that. But I told him at that time, I wish I saw that. But now I don't. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> I don't want to see that shit, though. He's having the Green Goblin chilling. <laughs> no, that, that motherfucker can stay at that house. <laughs> no, I don't want to see that shit in my closet. <laughs> I keep my closet closed. I don't want to see that shit. Anyway, what, what about this lady? So when I was living in Austin, uh, there is a lady who lived like down, no, maybe like two floors below me or something. And she okay. was just randomly bumped into me in the elevator. And she was like, hey, um, do you happen to like cat sit or pet sit? Okay. And I'm like, um, <laughs> sure. Like, you know, it's like, why maybe not? tell me about it. Yeah. What do you need? So she said she had to go to mainland for, I want to say like a week. <clears throat> okay. And she said, yeah, I can introduce you to my cats. She had like two, one's a Maine Coon. At the time I really wanted a cat and mm. a Maine Coon specifically. At the time. Got it. At the time. <laughs> And um, I went and like met her cats and everything, you know, she gave me the whole breakdown of what I should do and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is harmless. Like, this is cool. Okay. Uh-huh. Sounds good. Um, tell me why the fucking night before this bitch leaves, she tells me, look, so I'm in there with her and the lights start flickering. Oh, shit. And I'm over here like, oh, the fuck? <laughs> like, that's never happened at my place. It's a brand new building. Brand oh. new building. We're the first people to be in it. Oh. And so it's like flickering. And she's like, ha, ha, ha. She's like, oh, my sister. My sister and I joke around all the time that something keeps following us. And it keeps taking turns on which person it follows. What the and I'm just fuck? like, this bitch. Oh, like, she's telling me this shit now. Oh, <laughs> like, right before she leaves. Right before she leaves. And I'm oh, obligated oh. to watch oh. the cats. And so I'm just like, shit. Like, I can't back out now, right? And I just like laughed it off. She left. <laughs> Honestly, I let my ex husband deal with it. <laughs> I told him about what she told me, but I told him about what she told me, and he just he's not bothered by stuff like that. So uh-huh. he's like, you know, whatever. I'll. Oh, take so you it. didn't even face it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, mean, I was gonna go over there, but there was like towards the very end, like the face it all head on. He's like, oh yeah, I'm with you, cats. No. <laughs> On top of that, like the main coon was kind of an asshole. 
because and it was well, very. I would, I would be an asshole too if I had to experience that <laughs> shit every night. <laughs> you're you're <know>? right. <laughs> you're right. I was I was pretty pissed, and I don't know if it was pissed at the ghost or the chick, or, but or like maybe that was the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> was the fucking cat? Oh my god! So we found this pile of shit on her bed. Oh. Just like in the middle of the bed, oh. and it was it was pretty big. Oh. It was like the cat must be really pissed off oh. that she left, you know. But now it's like, was it the ghost? The, <laughs> no, the no. ghost possessing no. the cat. <laughs> it's like shit on her bed, shit on it. That, it's it's just like sign. Kermit with the hoodie, you know. Like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this bitch, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get her back. <laughs> but like the very last day, my ex husband could not make it home on time he was like i gotta stay at work blah 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 i was like shit like i gotta oh, fucking take shit. care of this damn cat oh. <laughs> so i walk in there tell me why the power was cut off completely oh. Oh. i was oh. like <laughs> i used my phone like in the dark well shit we need candles we need fuck. candles right now <laughs> <laughs> i was like scared as fuck and like you know i don't know where that cat is like oh, fuck. i see <laughs> eyes and, how like, is this fuck. real i don't know i just it was, the it was, cat was sitting on the bed. It was the cat was sitting on the bed at the time. <laughs> I just went in there. I don't even remember what I did. I like poured the food and like dipped. And I texted her. I was like, yo, your power is out. <laughs> oh, poor cats though. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not. Well, it's not hide. the cat's fault. I know. The, I said the poor cats. <laughs> it's not their fault. Maybe the cats cut the power. <laughs> they're like, they're like we're going to scare her. We're gonna scare like, her. I'm tired of this flickering shit. I have epilepsy, bitch. Like, I just cut it off. The, the lady was like, I don't know why my, my lights keep flickering. And the fucking cat is going like this on and off the whole time. And then it's shit on her bed. Like, that's right, bitch. You keep, you keep bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. See, that makes sense too. Actually, the cat fucking, the cat fucking with you guys. I mean, he was ducked off when the initial thing happened, the incident, so. Oh, interesting. Nah, I don't know. It's a sign. <laughs> it's a sign. And she even showed me like a picture of her sister on the fridge. It was like, it was like the intro to a horror movie, you know? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Where you're like meeting the family like, before <laughs> shit goes down. That's a whole plot right there. <laughs> yeah. You gotta make a movie out of that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not Starring Marie Basilio. Marie Basilio. Sorry. She, she's gonna I don't even know who I would get to play me. I wouldn't play myself. <laughs> you can play the woman. You can play the lady that's with the cats that owns the cats. Like, I don't know why the fucking lights keep flickering. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny's gonna be you. Like, Jenny, no. Jenny's the ghost that's following. <laughs> no, she's gonna be the. She's gonna be the. She's gonna play you. You can play the main coon. <laughs> 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 Fucking massive ass. There's <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of Hershey's wives stacked on top of each other. Oh my god. Meow, bitches. Put <laughs> your hat on. <laughs> you leave your hat on the pile. <laughs> yeah, I leave my oh. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, follow call my sky. <laughs> Oh my That's God. some crazy shit. Man. Can I have more stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, got uh, more of the apple okay. sake. So okay. good. Are you sure? <laughs> are you Wait, are you sure, though? Are you going to bring it no, to no, high? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'll give you half. It's, it's, Thank you. It's light, right? Yeah, it's really light. Yeah, yeah. super light. <laughs> just give me the bottle. The two shots of vodka is what gets me. I'll just drink straight out the bottle. Thank you. I, I mean, you still have it in your cup over here, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, so you've never been to Japan. You didn't get this from that. Japan? No. Where's it from? Uh, uh Food Land. Store? <laughs> <laughs> sponsor him. <laughs> oh, hey, follow Food Land. <laughs> food Land Farm, sponsor me. <laughs> Can we have more bottles in this? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you import sake. Can you guys give me some more bottles? <laughs> man, Every episode. That's freaking crazy, New flavor. man. Did, have you ever experienced, like, a... Like a ghost thing, like encounter. Oh damn, we getting real. No, we getting real. With this uh, shit, nope. <laughs> <laughs> she thought about that. <laughs> I would think Japan, because like Japan, you know, there's so much like negative energy there. Really? Well, because like people are so like I miserable. Mean, you look at the you, you look at like suicide forest, for instance. Right. right? Oh right. Right. So right. much negative energy there, mm -hmm. and then. 
And then like, where's this think, negative energy coming from though? Well, people just, you know, living their life because they, you know, for like the food industry, they can't accept tips, right? Oh. They just work and then Damn. the, the work, culture, yeah, being overworked, yeah. depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I and, saw that. Do people really just like die on the buses or subways or whatever? See, I don't know that. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's I've seen crazy. some like crazy videos where they're just showing this dude with a briefcase and just like dies right there. Oh. Because wow. I don't know if that was maybe just an exaggeration of like how overworked people are or mm. if mm. it actually happens. But... A lot of people do sleep on the trains. Yeah. Anywhere, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a sign of of hard work yeah. apparently oh it's really toxic but it's kind of appraisal yeah yeah because yeah. like some people though even like just hanging out at like you know bars or you know just eating ramen for mm -hmm. fucking people at, like izakayas and stuff like that just hanging out with co-workers they, th they think of it like oh he's a good worker because he's like <clears throat> chilling with us but then yeah but then yeah people are like going home late at fucking Ten, you know, 12, 12 in the morning, like every night, and they gotta wake up at fucking five. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, just to do it all again. It's like that's yep. that is toxic. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's I why. Good. <laughs> I was just gonna say that's why you never want to work for a traditional Japanese company. Mm -hmm. Mm. As much as they try to go against it, it still it still exists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to learn work life balance, so. At some point, like back in Texas, I had this awesome career. Loved it. The gas industry. Shout out to Texas Gas, my Texas Gas fam. Um, but, you know, we would look at reports at the end of the year and my hours worked at some point was like 4,000 hours a year. Whoa. Yeah. I was like working really hard. It was a male dominated industry and I wanted to prove myself that I could hang, you know. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and it just came to a point where I was just working so much that I was making decent money, but I wasn't enjoying it. And uh -huh. I was missing out on, you know, friends would ask me, hey, come to this and this event. Um, I'm graduating, blah, blah, blah. And I would just send money because I couldn't be there because I was just tired. I wanted to be home. You know what I mean? I just mm. wanted to rest yeah. during my free time. But yeah, it. and then a lot of stuff happened in my personal life and it opened up my eyes like i'm this is my second chance at life right now mm. so i am as much as i and i hustle all the time like you guys see me out there i'm like one of the only female club promoters yep. on island and um and yeah i i have to purposely slow down now i love going on walks because it forces me to just like Take in nature, you know, mm. meeting people on the street, just get them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why you're so outgoing nowadays because you appreciate it more. I do, exactly. Uh, uh -huh. I appreciate it. Like, time is my time is precious, you know, so yeah. I get it back. So, I'm pretty mm. mindful. I don't like to waste it. So, when people are always asking me to hang out and I say no, it's because I value my time. And mm. if it's if it's not contributing to, you know, my, like, I guess a better mental state or just enriching me in any way, mm -hmm. I don't really care to go, yeah. just to go. Yeah. Hang out. No, it depends. Well, well, I'm very honored that you came here. <laughs> <laughs> just to spend your time fucking. It's all about the good vibes, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. This is pouring into my empty cup right now. Yeah. And I haven't yeah. seen Jenny. Like, this is recharging <laughs> for me, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Spilling spilling alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Fucking talking about. Fucking <laughs> talking about. Ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts and fucking lady with death. <laughs> Two asshole cats that <laughs> shot our bed and flick, talking story, okay? And, and flick, and flick the fucking light switch on and off, you know? <laughs> talking story. Yeah, yep. it's good for your soul. <laughs> How about you, Jenny? What? We're like, where are you at in like, I guess your career? What would you say? Hmm, I'm at the awkward point because I just graduated last year mm -hmm. in marketing, and I know I don't want to work a nine to five for the rest of my life. Mm. I want to like set out and kind of do my own thing but i have to build the discipline first mm, it's mm -hmm. like time management is something i'm struggling with it's like there never seems to be enough time in the day like yeah. before you know it like 
already over. <laughs> it's like you, you walk out the door. Holy shit, it's dark. What happened? No, what happened? seriously. Yeah. <laughs> no, mine is like, wow, I'm getting into bed. Holy shit, the sun's about to come up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one second, it's like you're walking in the door. All of a sudden, oh shit, where does blanket come from? <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, like, for me, too, like, I'm, you know, which, which crazy about me is, like, I feel like I got, like, a second chance, too, mm-hmm. because I was just talking about this earlier, too, on another <laughs> podcast, but, like, um, like, before I was, <laughs> see, you gotta, you gotta, I'm like, waking up now. you have to, adjust, to I told you before, you, get, you can't <laughs> fucking sit like that for, like, extended period. I wasn't, I, I was sitting Every, everybody sits like that for, like they sit on their knees I started <laughs> off cross-legged I swear I, I had to <laughs> <laughs> my ass is falling asleep <laughs> but see, but see everybody start, there's one shout out to Stone again quick story he was sitting I on gotta his meet knees. him now <laughs> yeah you gotta meet him he's, he's an awesome guy he's sitting on his knees right the whole fucking like, like I swear like 45 minutes in and we were downing this bottle of whiskey. <laughs> I and, need more than. And his and his fucking glasses were fogging up because he was in pain <laughs> the whole fucking time. He was in pain. Ouch. And I told him, "What the fuck are you doing sitting on your knees? <laughs> Sit comfortably." <laughs> he's like a geisha. Yeah, he's like. A... <laughs> this guy was trying to be like a samurai, right? Because he did like <laughs> he studied abroad in Japan, so he said he thought he could do it. <laughs> I, I said, just because you studied in Japan once in your life, that doesn't mean you can fucking sit like that for an extended period of time. He had his warning. Yeah, yeah. So, like, he had, he had, we had to, like, pause, and then, like, he had to readjust his legs. But, yeah, he said his legs was fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> my legs my back this is my like i'm 29 and turning 30 like shit <laughs> body's not working like it used to <laughs> you know it's crazy yeah like people that sit like like when they come on the podcast like afterwards then they like i, I kind of want to sit on the floor yeah and then like like work at that like this is like how yeah the kids used to do it like, <laughs> yeah. they'll sit on the floor in, like elementary school yeah. and then they'll, they'll listen to the yeah puna or something mm-hmm. you know what i mean and yeah, but this is how this is even how I work. <laughs> this is how I work, right? Here, like like this, you know. Like I sit on the floor, and then like people are, like they trip out. Like my my right leg is over my left leg right now. Oh what? Yeah. Oh it's okay. Tri- yeah, yeah that's what we do in yoga. <laughs> See, uh, uh, this is like how I naturally sit. I don't okay. know how you do it, but I feel like there's no avoiding it. I started off like, cross legged, and tried. then I had to. Move a bit. <laughs> you try. Like, let's, can we? Oh, I'm not hold flexible. on. I'm about to be okay. like. I'm about to do it. Gavin does. Okay. Oh, see, there you go. If it's comfortable. <gasps> well, while you're readjusting, I'll tell my story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you were saying about your second chance of life. Yeah. Mm. So, like, um, so I dropped out of college, like in 2014. Like, I got my associate's degree, but like before then, I thought like I want to go into like engineering, mm. and then I found out like engineering just fucking sucks like i didn't i didn't want to do that i didn't want to like learn math and science like i've been doing that shit for like at least 14 15 years you know straight yeah because i'm I'm including college too but i'm like i don't want to do this shit anymore like Mm -hmm. i'd rather do something else so i was like taking taking like economics at the time i hate economics (laughs) i'm the worst fucking asian i hate i hate math (laughs) well i see i liked economics because like it was interesting about like the trends like market trends Mm -hmm. like i just looked at it in in terms of like uh like a trend like a marketing sense Mm. Mm. that's not really math but it's mostly charts right or theories Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what i hate about it is that the first thing it's based on the textbook it says it's based off of the concept that people think rationally mm-hmm. and i'm like that loses all credibility <laughs> for me because people do not we're, we're definitely not the irrational <laughs> yeah, no. we, we're definitely the irrational group right there yeah. <laughs> you know? but that, yeah that's that's true you know what i mean like the, the the book says that but yeah there, mm-hmm. it, it goes off that theory that people think rationally which they don't mm-hmm. you know what yeah I mean? a lot of people they like they they buy certain things based on emotion. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And it doesn't that's calculate what that. All marketing is right now. Uh, yeah, that, that is all what marketing is. Which so is why like, I love marketing because it's based on like kind of psychology. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never thought that I would be good in sales. I never thought that I would be 
in a leadership position either. Mm -hmm. It's just not how I saw myself, right? Like the perception. Yeah. But when I started doing the promo modeling, it made me realize so many different things. Like I, I could be in sales and I actually enjoy it. I just have to love and believe in the product that mm -hmm. I'm selling. Mm -hmm. That's so important. It's super easy. Cause I can't, I can't stand, you know, this pushy sales people that want you to buy. Cause if I, I'm telling you right now, peer pressure, if I don't want to do something, I won't fucking do it. If I don't want to mm -hmm. buy something, I won't fucking buy it. Mm -hmm. But if you give me like a genuine pitch, like I'm over here like, damn, yeah, I'm going to have to support your family. So it's true. So, so yeah. this is very light, you know, and um, very inexpensive. You sold me well. on this. <laughs> <laughs> you want some more? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you're investing into the person too. You are. Yeah. And that's what a lot of it is so here on sells. island. You know, we say support local, shop mm -hmm. local. Mm -hmm. And we're not buying it just because we need it. We're doing it because it could be supporting someone's family. Mm -hmm. You just never know. Yeah. And I, I'm an over tipper too. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. No, I'm the same way. Because like, it depends, you know, like you don't really know. Like certain, like if you think about it in that sense, like, like servers, for instance. Right. It's like, why are they doing like, you know serving and stuff like that right yeah it's like man they could be like fucking struggling and then like maybe right. living out of a cardboard box exactly and exactly. i'm like here you go here's like here's that 20 percent, even though you didn't deserve it <laughs> but you could be having a shitty day and i still i'd still give them the 20 percent. yeah you know what i mean and yeah. like um yeah even like with the like the like local businesses like some of them it's like i, I was just talking about this with someone else too like like the the materials for like to to get them it, of course it's it's definitely higher and like local businesses they'll definitely sell things that are kind of at a higher cost yeah because it's just harder for them mm -hmm. right but yeah. we do it anyway because we know what we're investing in exactly mm. you know <clears throat> it's all relationship based you know yeah mm -hmm. So going back to economics. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but but like a lot of like the I'd say the the psychology behind it it, mm -hmm. it really factors into like how trends go. Like social mm -hmm. media for instance, mm -hmm. like it's the same thing like yep. People just fucking they'll connect with something that um I, I I'm going to talk about a video real quick cuz I just watched this video about like what social media trends are going to propel in the future Ooh, okay and they're they're giving some analytics like there was like a drop between Ooh. 2022 to 2023 for uh for inst uh for youtube which was like a, a negative 20 percent like decrease mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you know they they looked at the you know stats for why people go on youtube or they go on instagram right for instagram i thought it was interesting they go on instagram because it's it's a platform for like connecting with people yep. mm -hmm. mainly exactly right mm -hmm. but then they go on tiktok because they want to learn something mm -hmm. yeah uh -huh. yeah or, or or entertainment right and then for youtube it's solely just so they can learn something right yeah so but it but it's interesting because people will cling on to certain things that you know like what they're thinking you know mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. the, the psychology behind it so yeah that makes sense because youtube they used to be all about longer videos and now mm -hmm. it's all about short videos. Yeah. Mm. Music was a big one. Music videos, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I used to use it for. Mm -hmm. A lot of it. And bootleg movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Part two. Where's the where the fucking part three? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like um uh, like I looked on trending for like YouTube. And it, it's interesting because the trending on YouTube is interesting because the trending on YouTube is not really what's actually trending it's based on what the company thinks will trend oh, oh i didn't know that so there's no algorithm so there's no mm -hmm. algorithm with that wow it's oh. just like they think like oh these are like certain like this is a the m, &M put a put up a new like like music video mm -hmm. oh i think this will be trending so they'll put it and they'll rank it themselves on trending so like chris rocks you mm -hmm. know when when he got slapped by will smith <laughs> right yeah and, and easy I, easy right yeah. but you think about like the first like 12 videos were just different people reacting to it or different yeah. angles or fucking news news outlets that were covering that mm -hmm. and you think like youtube was the one that ranked those videos because it could have just mm -hmm. been someone like what what if like in between that time period 
someone just released a new music video. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that was like blowing up. But because it was the YouTube's admin, they were ranking everything. So it's like, oh, maybe this video would have been, should have been like maybe like rank number two, mm -hmm. you know, and trending. Mm -hmm. But because YouTube's team was like, I think this will trend more. They pushed that video out more. Wow. Oh, that's rigged. Yeah. Yeah. It's rigged. Mm -hmm. So you know, I don't know. This is going to get trending, but <laughs> who, who knows? You know what I mean? They they might watch this and they might be like, wow, this is fucking. <laughs> they're exposing us. This is fucking <laughs> flames. You know what I mean? And then they're going to get midway of the video and they're like, take it down. Take it down. <laughs> take it down. <laughs> Censored. <laughs> they're exposing <Beep>. us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's against our community guidelines, guys. <laughs> so we're, banned. We're, we're flagging, we're flagging You've been this video. Banned. <laughs> All right, that is also the downfall of YouTube. The flagging mm -hmm. swear words, it's mm -hmm. like insane. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I, I open, I, I openly just invite it. <laughs> <laughs> like, come at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, you, it's so weird because like, okay, so like for, for reels, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I think this is so weird. Like, some of the reels that I'll post that have, like, I'll, I'll have, like, censorship on it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But they push way more really? than ones that are clean, which is so weird on Instagram. Well, I mean, it's, it's so funny. I love hearing that's great. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, I, that's a good thing, but, but it's, it's uh, just Unlike a weird YouTube, thing. YouTube, they demonetize you for too much swearing. Oh like, you can God. only have, like, two swear words in a video. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm out. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> why people are leaving. <laughs> They're getting too <laughs> anal about things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it, de it depends, because, like, so there's a guy named um, Pat McAfee. I listen to his, his podcast, and he posted it, like, th three, four hours on YouTube, and he's swearing the whole time. <laughs> he's, I, I, I swear he's... I swear... How's he doing? He's great <laughs> and i think it's because it's it's audience that's pushing it forward but you know what Is, isn't it kind of like the same concept as back in the day when we used to buy cable certain channels like adult swim would say mm. bad words they would just pay the fucking fine right you know what huh. i mean mm -hmm. they're just gonna because they're making so much more yeah by oh. broadcasting still mm -hmm. that you just yeah. keep paying the fines off and it yeah. doesn't matter mm -hmm. so i could see that being his thing right like, <laughs> yeah. he's just yeah, like, he i'm gonna just fucking off. do it and... I, I mean i don't know i mean he, he's doing really successful he i mean like what I are they gonna hope... do though you know what i mean like you're exactly. getting all the views what are you gonna say you can't use our platform yeah they they mm -hmm. want it they want the exposure it's mm -hmm. the business mm -hmm. so. and i i think like that goes back into <laughs> economics, economics. <laughs> you know the whole the, the psychology yeah. behind it because maybe youtube doesn't like that shit mm -hmm. but then they're gonna see like He's so influential that exactly. people and, and he gets average four hundred thousand mm -hmm. an episode for three hours. Fuck, wow. <laughs> three four hours. What does he talk about? Sports. Oh, okay. That's it. Makes sense. But he swears like every fucking like every <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And, and he has like, but but it's not just him swearing. He has like like five other guys that are swearing with him. Oh, nice. You know. <laughs> Fuck. So <laughs> step up our game, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> we did this all the fucking it's time. Flinting. It's flinting. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be proper. Like <laughs> this is not proper. This is not proper at all. <laughs> no, no but, on my own, on my own Instagram, I have dialed it back. I'm not gonna lie. Like uh, my shit used to be super why? raw and unfiltered. <laughs> 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 I dialed it back. I don't know. I just uh I don't know, psychology, right? Uh, I still want people to feel uncomfortable watching it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some people where I have, like, a very... I respect them, and I know they wouldn't want to see certain things, so I'm like, hmm. But other mm -hmm. times, I'll just hide that shit from them. <laughs> hide, yeah. hide story and do whatever, <laughs> post whatever. Like, the Ratchet Nights. <laughs> 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 I'm like, fuck it. But also, that's why we have close friends. Hello. That's true. Yeah. Yep. You know if you're on my close friends, you you know what I'm fucking talking <laughs> yeah. about. You know what's crazy? There's some people that close friend me, and I I don't even know. Right, like, but it's because you're cool as fuck. That's but, why. But the thing is, I don't know these people. Some of them. Yeah, but it's because you're cool. Well, I I, I, I don't he know. He gives a vibe of being. cool. I guess so. Uh, but I've never met these people, and they put Same. me in the close friends group. Same. And then like I, I'm like they're hitting, they're like they're partying, they're fucking getting lit, and I'm like, <laughs> you trust me with your deepest darkest secrets. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it's so weird. Yeah. I was just telling Kelsey this the other day, and I'm like, this is so weird. Like, I thought, like, the close friends this was for, like, other shit, but, like, <laughs> people are just getting lit on the close friends. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have a close friends list at all. I'm just like, I don't I don't know what I'm fucking doing. You know what I mean? I'll pull, like, I'll always forget to post stories. I'm just like, oh, I, oh shit, I was supposed to post last night, which was, like, three nights ago. <laughs> so, like... Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about releasing some of my close friends' <laughs> stories from last year. Because you can do that, apparently. Like, if you oh, create really? on a highlight, it shows everything. So you can post, like, stuff you posted to close friends and make oh. it public through a highlight. So I was like, hmm, huh. should I expose? Nah. <laughs> no. Nah, fuck it. No, no, <laughs> no. <yet>. no, no. <laughs> so it, a lot like of them, <laughs> they're pretty, like, interactive, too. I have, I at one point, I had people voting on whether I should say, Yes or no to dates. Oh. Yeah. And like rating my dates. Oh, I love those. Those are fun. <laughs> that's a, that's <laughs> like, like a broadcast show. <laughs> it was. It was super fun. And it's like, guess where, like, I don't know, scavenger hunt style. I'm like, guess where this one? <laughs> oh, I love the stories where you rated your date. <laughs> Oh, no, the best one was when I had... Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the best one was when I added two of my exes. I'm going to call them exes. <laughs> two of my exes, and I had them rate... <laughs> oh, oh fuck! We're, we're gonna, we might have to cut this out. <laughs> I had them rate, rate the, the sex life. And they're very honest oh, about real? it, yeah. Really? And I posted it for everyone on Close Friends to see. And it was very honest, like candid. And I did it as more of like a huh. as more of a way to get that dialogue going because mm -hmm. if you are suffering in your sex life in your current relationship or whatever, mm -hmm. wouldn't you want your partner to say something? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And for people who break up, it's like if I break up with you, I would want you to be honest with me so that <laughs> can improve mm -hmm. no, that, you know I, mean? I love that's openly true. talking about it. it's healthy yeah i do too it's so taboo it. but i'm all about talking mm -hmm. about taboo shit out in the open yep. yeah like that's what i'm known for no but uh, that's true though <laughs> yeah. i mean like the, the honesty is is like the best i don't i don't know the phrase but it's like the, <laughs> the policy, policy. <laughs> this policy yeah, something like that <laughs> i was gonna say medicine <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's the best medicine. <laughs> but, but like, yeah, that, that's so true. Like, just throwing it out there. Oh, I mean, like, I don't know if, like, everybody out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> See some random follower, like, what the fuck is this shit? What is Marie throwing this shit out there for? <laughs> exactly why, why we have the close friends. Why are you close friends? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that's, you know, that that's good, too, because, like, people you know, they can see that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then maybe they can relate to it. Yeah. Because, you're being you know. transparent. Mm -hmm. and being transparent and setting... <laughs> How does that thing go? Transsetting... <laughs> setting the model. <laughs> setting, setting the model. <laughs> setting up your close friends like, oh, uh, yeah, don't, 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 don't help these people. <laughs> Oh, man. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> so, like, for, um, okay, we can we can go into this. So, like, so you want to be a relationship coach. Right, yep. Right? Yep. And I'm solidifying it. I've already been doing it for over a year. Honestly, okay. since I've been, since I became single. Okay. Back in 2021. Yeah. Okay. Almost exactly. Around this time. Wow. Hey, yeah. congratulations. Hey, yeah. hey, I there became you single go. March 15th. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh yeah that's it yeah, that's pretty good thank you thank you thank you i still haven't had a divorce party i feel like we should do that yeah. <laughs> i just seen that shit the other day like on, on on instagram i didn't even know that was a thing it's amazing you're turning something negative into a positive that's crazy you know? But like the, there was a cake that like the fucking <laughs> like the certificate was like it, like <laughs> cut in half. It was like it was made out of like frosting and shit. I burnt mine. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> I burnt my marriage oh, certificate. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. It's very liberating. It's cathartic. See, this is a good. This is interesting because like so like I I have a marriage perspective, right? Mm -hmm. a healthy mm -hmm. marriage perspective. Yes. You have a perspective of all sorts of perspectives. All, all sorts, and. Mm -hmm. You too. You have all sorts of perspectives as well. <laughs> <But> <laughs> we don't have to get really too actually. deep into it. 
<laughs> you don't have to get too deep into that, but we, you have perspectives as well. So, like, you know, it's, you know, it's interesting because, like, we look at relationships, too. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, like, people can see, like, a certain situation for a relationship and they'll see it in different in different ways different yep. ways absolutely yeah. you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's so easy to judge from the outside it's easy mm. to say I'm, I'm you're so. fucking stupid yeah <laughs> that's so true right <laughs> but really we've all been there we've all been there mm-hmm. all been there mm-hmm. yeah i was in i was in something pretty toxic and abusive and it's wild because I used to tell all my friends, like, never stay some, never stay in something like that, you know? Mm. And here I was. I didn't know. I didn't realize, like, I was in one, in, like, one of the worst ones, oh. you know? I was just kind of blind to mm. it. Mm-hmm. And then when I finally got out of it and got into some therapy, my therapist was just like, yeah, you know that you've just been minimizing mm. all the problems because you've been through so much your whole life that you just keep minimizing all these problems and it's not always a bad thing but in in this case it is Mm -hmm. you just have to be more aware Mm -hmm. yeah what do you think about those relationships like (laughs) i'm thinking of a one one specific one but i'm not gonna say their (laughs) name but like um you know they're they're in a toxic relationship where the the girl keeps going back to like a guy who's Who's cheating or super abusive oh super abusive and and like she really loves the guy, but you know, it's definitely tell her. situational, but abusive, like physically, physically, physically Aww. keeps going back. So I can say I went to group therapy and hearing different perspectives. I can, I can understand the psychology behind it. Mm. And a lot of the time it's that these women don't have the resources and the means to get out mm. or, um, and mine was specifically military related mm. and hearing some of their stories where it's like, my husband is friends with this person and they're high up mm-hmm. and they're being protected. So there's nothing I can do. You know mm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. They have no family to lean on. It's expensive as fuck in Hawaii. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they have nobody to go to. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, like, <laughs> fuck. You get a new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> hey somehow i found a way mm. i found a way mm-hmm. but yeah it's that and I, the ones who say that they love them it's that's also just you know a toxic cycle because mm. of the love bombing and like i'll change and you know what i mean they're mm-hmm. being manipulated mm-hmm. manipulated by a narcissist so mm-hmm. of course they're gonna believe it because mm-hmm. even with my ex he would be so good for x amount of time and then revert back to his old ways but i think part of the reason why i stayed for Mm -hmm. a long time was this sense of guilt like if we had split up what's gonna happen to him like he was an alcoholic Mm. so i felt like damn like what's gonna happen to him Mm -hmm. or what's gonna happen to someone else like say Mm -hmm. he gets into a car accident and like drinking and driving or something Mm -hmm. there's always a sense of guilt that i felt Mm -hmm. and also ego right Mm-hmm. We got together super young. I didn't want to throw in the towel, even though I knew I should have. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because it, I risked everything in my life for this one relationship. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm glad though it I'm got to a point that it did. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it got to a point that it did because getting out of it, seeing things from the outside now, I'm like, damn. Yeah. And I love the new me. I love the person that I am now, mm-hmm. honestly. Mm hmm. I wouldn't be this version of me if I didn't go through all that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. And honestly, like the biggest takeaway from all of it was after we divorced, like separated and divorced, I didn't focus on him. I didn't focus on what he had done wrong. I focused on myself and what I could do better. Mm. It was like sel- like the self-improvement stuff, self-care, mm-hmm. self-improvement. Mm-hmm. And it's working out pretty great. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, good. I'm happy. Good yeah, hey. I'm happy with myself. You know, like there's no external validation needed. It's all coming from within. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all coming from within. I think that's like a really hard part part for some people to like separate themselves. I guess if they're in a toxic relationship, to separate themselves mm-hmm. by themselves. Right. You, know what I mean? you become each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you, like you don't even know that you become each other, but yep. like. Mm-hmm. But once you you step out of that, it's like you see that mm-hmm. like oh wow that they really 
influence my life. Right. But the thing is, it's like, yeah, for people that are in like toxic relationships, it's like they don't see a way out because there's too much connected. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and misery loves company, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're so used to that energy. You're feeding off of it. Mm -hmm. It just becomes this repetitive cycle. And that's why we're all about breaking cycles nowadays, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's sad seeing like some people go through that because like mm -hmm. and and like there's some. Like, there's, like, guys that say, like, oh, just just get out of it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not that easy. It's though. really it's not. not. It's not because, like, there's there's that whole video where, like, oh, you, the nail is stuck in the, the person's head. Like, just take the nail out. Mm -hmm. But it's not that easy to just take the nail out. Right. Then you, you know start I mean? bleeding and shit. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My eye you know, <laughs> comes out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Once you jab it, you know. But, like, um, it's not that easy, and you yeah. know why, too. It's because we don't talk about these things, we don't talk about how to get out of it mm -hmm. healthily, safely, and everything. You mm -hmm. know, these are things that people keep quiet about, there's no dialogue about it. And, mm -hmm. like, part of my purpose, I feel like, is to share my experience and empower other people to mm -hmm. get out of it because nobody was telling me. Um, I mean, yes, everyone's like, get out of it, but. There is no, like, real push there. It mm -hmm. was just, it's just all saying that, get out of it. But there's no, like, why? Why should I get out of it? And, like, how mm. how can I get out of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no support, truly. Mm -hmm. But, and a lot of people just, they're scared to be alone. That's mm -hmm. a big one, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a scary thing. And you have to be vulnerable, and nobody likes that. Mm-hmm. And that's also what I'm trying to help people with, feeling okay with vulnerability. Yeah. <clears throat> giving them a safe space, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why to this day, my close friends, right? There are women on there who I've never met before. Mm. Not in all the years that I've lived here. And they still follow my life. Like, they still keep up with my love life, trying to see mm -hmm. how I'm doing from... Mm -hmm. They saw me when I was at my most broken mm -hmm. to now. And they're just like, wow. Mm -hmm. And I've had um, so many of them reach out over the last two years mm -hmm. asking for advice. Um, I've had men reach out and that's really like, like I'm proud of the guys mm -hmm. that reach out because it's not an easy thing to do. Guys yeah. are, guys are taught to keep their emotions bottled up, you know, never show mm -hmm. emotions because emotions equals weakness. But I've had guys reach out when I shared my story about miscarriage and divorce and it was like this weight lifted off their shoulders that they were able to tell somebody and mm -hmm. not feel like attacked in any way Judge, for expressing yeah. themselves. Um, and, and I mean, like people have been holding these secrets for like decades, mm. some of them for decades. Mm. And that's a lot. It's mm -hmm. heavy. It's stuff we don't talk about, but we should. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. They're reaching out the first step. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I, I think like society has come to a point where it's, it's a little bit more acceptable to mm -hmm. to do that too because if you think about it like 10 years ago we didn't have the same resources to, no. to do that shit right mm -hmm. and then like people wouldn't like they wouldn't reach out mm -hmm. right they would just keep it bottled in but then like luckily like there's like a big push for like mental health yes and, and people to re really connect and people are more open to not being so judgmental about like mm -hmm. someone actually expressing themselves exactly and then I think that's given people like more comfort to be like, you know what, it, it's okay to talk about mm -hmm. certain situations, you know. Especially and people for guys. just weren't taught to express themselves healthily, you know. Mm -hmm. Just because you are upset, doesn't it doesn't have to come out so toxic? Like you're just expressing mm -hmm. your feelings. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have this like negative connotation of when you're upset and just lashing out and stuff, but. Mm -hmm. And even like fighting, right? Conflict resolution. A lot of people don't know how to get to the resolution part. Mm. They kind of just, just stick to the conflict. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then when it's it's like it's too hard for them, they're just like, okay, I quit. Mm. They're not really, mm -hmm. and and then they're just like fighting. They're just arguing just to argue. Mm. They're not even arguing to get to a solution. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of that speaks to pride too. Ego. A lot of ego is yeah. because enemy. Like, because they they're so angry at a point where like mm -hmm. they just want to win yes exactly but then it's it, it is it's super toxic because 
both parties are just trying to win. Yeah, and if other. you really love each other, it's never you versus them. It's mm-hmm. you two versus the problem. You mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. And, you, and and you just gotta figure out a way to to solve it. But get to like, the middle ground. You get, know. Yeah, yeah, find middle ground and. Yeah, I, I really moved past it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when you forgive, you have to truly forgive. Mm-hmm. There's no just saying it and then you resent them or like hold it over their head for later on. Mm-hmm. You have to truly, mm-hmm. when you truly love someone, your forgiveness is forgiving them, accepting it, and moving forward with mm-hmm. clean slate mm-hmm. every time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but don't keep forgiving your cheating ass ex. <laughs> you know what I mean? All, all the break, guys are bullied. <laughs> break, break those unhealthy patterns, please. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, that uh, that's true, right? For, I think a lot of relationships too, like, they they need to get past that that point of fighting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to get to a point of okay what are we gonna do about it mm-hmm. like why are we fighting in right. the first place and then can we be happy again mm-hmm. you know but but some people they don't want to be happy they just want to fight the whole time mm-hmm. you know I don't know if that's in their blood to just want to fucking scrap mm-hmm. it out but that's just the thing you know yeah and I think COVID like. I see so many like relationships that I was like, wow, these, I thought these relationships were going to last for like a fucking lifetime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them just, they get divorced and I'm like, wow, what the hell happened? Yeah. And I think it, it really unveiled certain things about their relationship. Like Mm -hmm. maybe they were so busy with their other life that they never really had a chance to really connect with each other. Exactly. And then when they finally did during COVID, then they found out certain things that mm-hmm. really didn't vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, like, luckily for, for us, like I separate all of that other shit, mm-hmm. you know, and I, and I put my wife first. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? Because like, well, of course, like, well, I'm swearing, but God <laughs> first and then, and then my wife. But, <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, that's, that to me is, that it, that's it. That's mm-hmm. all I need. You know what I mean? Right. You break it down to like what's truly important in this mm-hmm. life, you know? Is that argument really worth it or yeah. the person that you love, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. And, and you know, like, so like, uh, I'll speak for like some people at like churches and stuff like that. Like I, I've seen like relationships where they, they'll serve together and they, and they serve like, you know, X amount of years, right? I'm just kind of like, that's cool, but what are they really doing? Like, like you take away that serving, what are they? What are they actually doing? Mm-hmm. Well, you take away all that work, and then like, are they really like going on dates? Are they, do they really enjoy each other's company? Mm-hmm. And it, the COVID really changed that. Yeah, yeah. And it it showed like, wow, they they really don't give a shit about each other. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's sad. And some people honestly are too selfish to be in a relationship. Mm. You know what I mean? They just hop into one because of loneliness, not because they actually want to Mm -hmm. be in a relationship Mm -hmm. and for me it's just lost my train of thought (laughs) adhd (laughs) but yeah some some people they they, it's a it's a selfish thing it is it's it's not really like a partnership like right oh sorry where i was going with that was i'll just open you along (laughs) (laughs) thank you thank you where i was going with that was i started dating soon after i first got separated and i thought i was good i thought i was ready for it and it turns out i wasn't i was just lonely you know Mm. and honestly though we talk about relationships being (laughs) go ahead empty the bottle (laughs) you want some more jenny here in the last end there's a little bit left okay thank you okay i'll just pour this go ahead we talk about relationships being 50 50 Mm -hmm. but honestly i i try to say 100 100 100 100 100 100 100. you got to give all your all your effort Mm -hmm. to that person and vice versa. I preach reciprocation a lot, you Mm -hmm. know, but yeah, a hundred, hundred. And you have to be a hundred with you before you can give to anyone else. Mm -hmm. So work on yourself before you get into a relationship. Yep. I, I totally agree. I tell that to like all my guy friends, like Mm -hmm. same thing, like, like work on yourself like don't rush into something that you're not prepared for exactly Mm -hmm. and 
and when they become to a point where they really like establish themselves as people and they really are comfortable with who they are mm -hmm. then the right person is going to come along and compliment and that person mm -hmm. you're you're gonna be able to give that hundred percent to that that exactly. person yep. mm -hmm. and it's gonna be healthy then mm -hmm. you know what i mean because at that well hopefully because the, <laughs> the other the, person <laughs> hopefully the other person is giving like they're not giving 50 you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. but like that's that's just the whole thing like i told all my guy friends that like just work on yourself don't don't like fuck around and just like think like oh you can go party and shit like that like work on you you yeah. know like work out you know fucking fucking mm -hmm. do things on your own see how, if you're comfortable with like by yourself exactly first. and then everything else falls into place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly and it has i love being alone now before i couldn't stand the thought of it because i was with someone for nine years like mm. that's a long time right yeah and one of the first things i had to experience was eating alone mm. when i became oh, I love single alone. <laughs> i love it now but damn like it was so foreign to me you know mm. we were always having a home-cooked meal together or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if i was at work i'd be eating with my coworkers. but mm -hmm. eating alone Cooking for one. I'm Filipina. I don't know how the hell to do that. <laughs> I cook for a whole damn family. Well, Jenny's eating good. <laughs> she was. Jenny's eating good. During the five months out of the year. Leftovers galore. But I guess it's different when you're forced into it. Yeah. And when yeah. you have to. It's exactly. Different dynamic. Exactly. But I learned to love it. Granted, my first <laughs> one of my first experiences eating alone was fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I went to hibachi. Who the fuck goes to hibachi alone? Oh, okay. Okay. It was interesting. Hey, you can talk to the chef. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward because I had walked into fucking Tanaka at the end of Waikiki mm -hmm. and I was like you know I was kind of quiet about it I was yeah. like yeah um, you know what time is dinner you guys still have room for one more yeah. and he was like um just just one <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was, like oh, I was quiet I was oh, like shit. there's people all around I'm like yeah just oh, it's, I was like yeah it's just me and he was like oh yeah we can we can squeeze you in I'm like fuck okay <laughs> and so I'm waiting for my name to be called he's like Marie, Marie, party of one. <laughs> just like, oh, He's God. really rubbing it in. Like, Jesus <laughs> and I was like, right here, right here. And he, no, okay. I don't know if it, I can't remember if it was the same guy or a different oh, one. Fuck. But I'm like, oh, I'm right here. And then he goes, just you? <laughs> it was like, fuck. Like everyone's around me, I was like, yeah. And Screw you know what? Though? In my head, I was oh, like, fuck. in my head, I was like, oh, they'll probably seat me next to a big ass family. It's cool. Like that's yeah. that's kind of fun, right? Uh, like, nah, <laughs> I was fucking fifth wheeling it. Two couples <laughs> and then me. Oh my! <laughs> and I was God. just like, oh shit! Like this is yeah. I, I started crying. I'm not gonna lie. Before oh, he even fuck. like warmed the grill, I'm like looking at the menu, like crying a little bit. I'm just like, fuck. This is like the first time I'm eating out alone since. <laughs> my separation and i'm like right here i was like what's gonna make it better what's gonna make it better it's like oh uh, <laughs> why, why don't we put them next to this couple over here the chef, <laughs> better the chef took everyone's order and he was looking at me and he was like it's just you and i was like yeah and he was like wow. he's like in that case so he he bought me shots <laughs> i was like thank oh. god oh, okay. thank okay, you good. thank you and you so go. and then i bought the whole table shots you know they oh, okay, they good. needed someone to take pictures they looked like they were struggling so and i was just like well i guess i'm by myself so i was like do you guys want me to take your picture oh. and they were like yeah that would be amazing and then they were like why are you by yourself come come hang out with us i was like i don't really want a fifth wheel and it turned out to be like like a good a good dinner a really oh. good dinner i made new friends you mm. know everyone got drunk so oh, good <laughs> yeah Maybe they forgot it, about it turned that out night, better yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was she with someone i can't remember <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they end up on your close friends list you know what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I actually ended up hanging out with um one of the girls through the night um one of the couples was fighting i was talking to this one girl oh, and shit. um shared my story and then gave her relationship advice about hers mm. so it was Aww. good it was a good night mm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. happy ending yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was actually me and her under the moonlight at the pool talking <laughs> sharing feelings and that, that's crazy mm -hmm. that they kept pushing that like 
You by yeah. yourself? Like I, I know. Yeah, oh be my god, it was so embarrassing. That is, I mean, like for for them to yeah to say that that's yeah. pretty crazy. I don't know. I don't eat there anymore. <laughs> what are they thinking? I actually, yeah, what, what were they I thinking? actually eat at Aoki with Teppanyaki. I love that place. Hey. Love that place. Shout love out it. to Kevin. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin. Trainer, please. He, he was on the podcast a, a, a few weeks ago. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah he, his episode's coming up next. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see. I saw him now. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that's why I owe Kisake. So, you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I remember, um, well, this is before I met Kelsey, but I remember like going to the movies or even like going to a restaurant just by myself, mm -hmm. you know? And then like my guy friends are like, Oh, you want us to go with you? I'm like, no, nah, I'm hungry. Like I want to just, fucking <laughs> get the, I just want to get some fucking food. I, I want some sushi. I'm going to go here. You know what I mean? And like, like people thought like that was such a weird thing. And they like, did. Oh, yeah. And, but and I when like, I started to get more comfortable with it, uh -huh. I started going to more like mom and pop places or like mm -hmm. small businesses mm -hmm. to give them business and honestly to do like food reviews right yeah and i went to one and i i'm just the type where i like to try everything so i mm -hmm. order everything mm -hmm. and i ordered oh, everywhere <laughs> I, mean, I ordered all this fucking food and like the waitresses or waiters would just be like is this all for you or like is anybody joining you and i'm like no just me and they're like oh shit i was like fuck i mean like i guess it looks like i'm eating for two but you know leftovers yep. <laughs> that was a good thing but then i would also get waitresses who would be like wow like you're eating by yourself like all this food no. and i was like yeah I, I actually just became single and you know this is kind of foreign to me mm -hmm. and then i would get the support they would be like Oh shit, that's fucking empowering. Like, yeah. I love that for you. Yeah. And then they're like, I'm going to go try that. Mm -hmm. I'm in a relationship, but I'm going to go try that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, just <some> experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat sushi by myself. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of the times, yeah, people are, it is foreign to people. You're right. Yeah. So uh -huh. a lot of the time, those business owners would come up to me and they would just be like, hi, like, so why are you by yourself? And mm -hmm. then we would talk story. I'd get to know them, ask them, you know, what made them move to Hawaii or like just life story. Mm -hmm. And we'd form a relationship and have a good time anyway. And I'm never by myself. Mm -hmm. I, I end up meeting people along the way. Yeah. Yeah. And now, now you share your food with Jenny, right? Really. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's the sweetest yeah. thing. We always bring like leftovers for each other. Mm -hmm. That's our love language. <laughs> food. <laughs> See, but that like um, that, that goes back to economics actually, <laughs> because people think like you, you know for restaurants, right? They'll think like, oh, couples really want to come here, mm -hmm. and I mean for the food, like. We're we're gonna make like our menu based on like shareable shit. Yeah. You know what I mean for couples, but then they don't expect Marie just rolling up there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna get everything <laughs> for my fucking self. <laughs> Treat yourself, baby. Yeah, there, there we go. And then Je can... Jenny gets all the leftovers out there. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, she like eats everything for me. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, I don't want this anymore. She's like, I eat okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no awesome. food ever gets wasted with us mm -hmm. <laughs> see that's that's great though you know what i mean and i i think that like it speaks for empowerment mm -hmm. you know what i mean because then it, it it really shows like people that yeah it's okay to, to eat by yourself at a <laughs> restaurant right they shouldn't feel lonely yeah, you know yeah. they can they can have fun doing that mm -hmm. fuck i have fun eating sushi by myself you know what i mean you know? yeah or, or going to a movie like if, if Kelsey is working like I'll go to a fucking movie by myself mm -hmm. yeah and I'm okay with that you yeah because I want and the AC honestly <laughs> relationship or not or even in relationship right I was very codependent mm -hmm. with my ex and a lot of people are very codependent mm -hmm. and it's pretty toxic so mm -hmm. I I do encourage other people to have their own thing like have the things that you should love to share with your significant other but mm -hmm. also make that time for yourself you know mm -hmm. Yeah. And some people think that everyone's looking at them, but really no one cares. Yeah. <laughs> they have too much of their own yeah. shit going on. <laughs> to give a fuck about what's going on here. Like, yeah, the fucking food's getting all cold and it's <laughs> 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 super fucking oh, let's take it like it's good. <laughs> but I mean that yeah, that speaks with psychology, right? Mm -hmm. Like 
people grew up with that that mm-hmm. mentality and and it's it's it, it's great you know that you you are open to telling people about that like you're empowering people by by sharing your story exactly and and sharing your experience and even if they are in a relationship it, they can go ahead and fucking go to a ramen place and eat by themselves mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah. and and not feel bad about that right you know mm-hmm. and then now people are gonna go to a ramen place <laughs> and every fucking table is just gonna have one person <laughs> on it now <laughs> let's be alone together <laughs> I'm alone, but together. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, man, that was deep. Like we, we like fucking, we just like shit. We shit the bed like a cat, and then we brought it back with some like some really deep shit. But mm-hmm. that was great. I mean, how deep do you guys want to go next? Time? <laughs> <laughs> I got it all. <laughs> yeah. This, this Here's won't be lie. the only time. I mean, we, you didn't even fucking eat your cupcakes yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. oh, that was I forgot it. Oh. It's for you. <laughs> it's for you. It's for you. Yeah, we gotta do a mukbang next time. Oh, oh hell yeah. Let's do a mini mukbang now. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait. We, we, still the the we still got the cookies. We still got the cookies. We got the cookies. Well, we'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to that in a bit. So, um, but before we get to the cookies. So, like, for... I, I kind of want to go back to social media because it's mm-hmm. something that's, like, mm-hmm. predominantly in our society. Right. Today yeah. everybody just fucking like chills on that. And and here's the thing, like I was I was gonna talk about like clubs, like back in the day, there's a shitload of clubs here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then you look at it now and there's like what the district and everything mm-hmm. is there's well, all the great places are closed. Especially exactly. during COVID. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess I see a different world because right now <laughs> right now I see hella, hella, hella venues and everybody's <laughs> Trying to fill them. There, there was way more <clears throat> venues before. Yeah, you it, think? Yeah, it, okay. way more. The Zanzibar, like when Zanzibar was good, mm-hmm. you know. And I remember going there, but it, like, I seen the downfall too. Okay. <laughs> you know, I seen the rise <laughs> and I seen the downfall. But I know. Was, I always hear about asylum. I'm like, what's asylum? See, yeah, <laughs> there was Zanzibar. There was the M, mm-hmm. right? There was level four. There was. Um, There's a level four. Damn, I only knew about level three. The, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it is level three <laughs> it is level three <laughs> you know what's funny My, well so i i well okay i asked that about that right <laughs> and, and, and uh, he, you guys know what level three is and, and he said level be on my close friends <laughs> <laughs> but okay so anyway uh but there, there was like tons of uh, clubs before but Mm -hmm. but you look at like now right there's the district i mean the republic and and you know like meeting people these days oh okay it's it's so much different because you you don't you don't meet people through clubs anymore oh i mean you can Mm -hmm. but the thing is like it's so much more accessible to meet them online Right. right so like what do you think about that because it's it's such a shift in society because people are so connected online but then they lose that interaction yeah. face to face i think it goes hand in hand yeah like mm. a lot of times i go to the clubs and i get their social media and then through the social media is where you really build that connection and like keep in touch mm-hmm. see what everyone's up to Hopefully. and like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you really become friends <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes on to the clubs again. It's like, hey, are you going to this club tonight? And they, like, yeah, I'm like, mm-hmm. so but then it goes what full are, circle. But what are the quality of those relationships? You know, those are those mm. sometimes just be end up becoming your party friends. You know, mm-hmm. but do you mean just people in general, or like, because mine, mine is more dating apps versus meeting be. in real life. <laughs> 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 okay, we can talk about dating apps. Too. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, meeting people organically, I think, is better than meeting mm-hmm. online. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the times, like right now, like people hide behind a screen. They're very different behind a screen versus in person because mm-hmm. they're yeah. losing that skill set, right? Mm-hmm. How to talk. A lot of the times I go out and I see people sitting at the same tables. Everybody's on their phones. Mm-hmm. Nobody's actually connecting. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know? You know, I wish there were more ways to connect with people because I feel like what really builds a organic, long-lasting connection is camaraderie. Exactly. Mm. So it's like through work, 
Mm-hmm. Through clubs, through suffering all night <laughs> until like it's morning. Totally, uh, totally. I, I, <laughs> those breakfast. I remember those days. Put one a leaky, leaky drive in after you know. I mean, those days, you know. Oh, after I, ether. If you've gone to ether together, you probably have a long lasting <laughs> friendship. <laughs> but otherwise when i travel it's either through dating apps or clubbing it's where Mm, i meet people true yeah Mm. but it's like what if you like usually i'm by myself like what if i want to meet people not have to go to the club exactly Mm -hmm. yeah they go hand in hand it just depends on what your goal is i think Mm. but a a lot of the time um I'm about to like <laughs> expose myself. <laughs> Go for it. Shut up, expose yourself. <laughs> I use I use dating apps not for dating. I use mm-hmm. dating apps to make friends and to network. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. It's like great for making friends, actually. Amazing mm-hmm. for making friends, and I specifically so much. put on my bio <laughs> that I'm there just for that and not to date. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because I know, right? It's more exposure to people. It's the first thing that they hop on now when. You travel, so I have turned into this underground tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love it. I love it, man. There's yeah. some dope ass people out there mm. that I otherwise wouldn't have met. Cause right. with working as a promoter too, I'm always busy, right? Mm-hmm. I don't have really the time, but mm-hmm. um, meeting them on social media apps, it's uh, and actually, it's not even just the dating apps. Like I recently started talking to this person on instagram and he's here on a trip and he said i just went and searched tried to find like dj local djs and promoters Mm -hmm. so that i can get like the full um like all the information about nightlife here yeah and i'm like that's smart yeah (laughs) that's smart Uh uh-huh yeah Mm -hmm. What else? Anything else? <laughs> 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 I feel like you guys have something, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to butt in. <laughs> um, I personally would like to host events where people meet mm. up. Mm. I know that there are groups in the past that have done that. Um, during COVID, obviously, it was such a big taboo. And yeah. we're just now bringing events back. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I want to have like a women empowerment group. I want us to spill the tea over some tea and endless mimosas on Sundays, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. things like that. And dating events so that people can meet firsthand. That first impression is pretty important. Mm-hmm. And I know when I was on oh, da- dating apps, I became more shallow because all I'm doing is like looking at pictures, right? You're just swiping. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you're just like aimlessly swiping. Mm-hmm. And. But you don't really know until you meet the person. Right. Mm-hmm. You catch that vibe sometimes. really it's quick. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of people I'm I'm just like, damn, like if you if if I see if I saw you on the dating app, I definitely would not have sworn. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm also a connection person, that's why. I mm-hmm. value like personality over looks. And mm-hmm. so seeing people shine through their personality is huge for me. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. what dating apps lack. Mm-hmm. I know they started doing the, <laughs> they added the voice memo now and like the videos, but I'm like, oh, it still feels a little too, re- it, <laughs> yeah. it feels too rehearsed for me. It's cheesy. Oh, it's yeah. Cheesy. Huh. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's interesting. It's like for me, people think like, like they think like really stoic, I guess, it's, which is really interesting. Mm-hmm. But then when they really meet me, they're like, holy fuck, this guy is like, <laughs> <laughs> like this guy he's very local you know what i mean which is which is weird because like yeah i i tell them like oh yeah i grew up in kailua and they already have a idea of kailua mm, right they're like okay. oh, it's very proper right i told them like oh you know I, i've been to iolani high school whatever that's only for summer school so. <laughs> <laughs> but like um but like you know, I I tell them that, and they're like, "Oh wow, this guy must be like really stoic," you know. He's an accountant. Holy shit! All this other <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. And then they're like, "No, oh, this guy really wants to fucking drink. We'll go karaoke." You know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. he doesn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but it's it's different. You know it that that different. whole that whole like stigma. You go on social media, like you don't know sometimes. Yep. And I'll I'll be honest. Like some people that come on the podcast. And, like, this could be, like, the first time I meet them. I have mm-hmm. no idea what kind of person they are. And and really? it surprises me sometimes. Yeah. Because sometimes they could be someone that's very, like, like really closed in. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I know how to, I know how to 
work with this mm -hmm. but then like I, so like whenever i do podcasts and stuff like i come in with like no expectations yeah because yeah. i have yeah. no idea what the fuck's gonna happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right but then but then like some people they're like oh wow they're very party or they're very talkative so i'm like fuck it uh, let's, <laughs> sh let's shoot the shit you're right mm -hmm. but yeah there's just some people that come in and they're like oh they're very like <laughs> They're very cold off. I think them. you do wow. a great job. Yeah, you're the same. To have. You're the same to me in person and on social media. And oh, I you. try to be. <laughs> I try to be that way. I, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't like changing how I am. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. for certain situations, mm -hmm. but, and I mean, like the only time I will ever change it up is when, you know, professional versus non. Yeah. But other than that, I'm just like me. I'm me. That's it. Mm -hmm. But some people have this like they're social media persona yeah. and then in real life they're completely different mm -hmm. so yeah so true yeah it's 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 crazy mm -hmm. and like um i'm thinking one specific person like this this person youtuber and they're they're like known to be like they do mukbangs oh. right but they're they're super like really active on their youtube page and everything mm -hmm. and I, I met them in real life and i'm like whoa they're like on their phone yeah like curled up in a corner mm -hmm. not even yeah. interacting we're at a party right huh. and i'm like whoa this is weird for me yeah like for me that was like weird because it's like i i don't want to say that's like fake but yeah. like it's it just kind of showed me like it's different it's, yeah. it's different you know and i don't, I don't want to say that it's it is fake but it's like they really play up to the camera yeah right you know right. yeah so. that's true mm. But like yeah, I I try to be consistent as much as I can because like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Like uh, like these days, people want authenticity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean, and they crave it mm -hmm. because, you know, we're just talking about people going online. Like you don't really know wh who right. those people are out yeah. on the outside. Yeah, yeah. But the golden era of, so of social media back in the day is when people use social media as an outlet mm -hmm. yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> she's one of those people <laughs> yeah. like, what an age. <laughs> but i mean that's so true though like you know instagram and i was we were, I, we were just talking about like how instagram people use it to connect with others i do it's right. my platform yep, it's i don't i don't even like save contacts it's <laughs> like dm me <laughs> <laughs> too lazy to create a contact if you're in my phone you better have a first and last name <laughs> and some notes about how we met <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. but it, it's it's so true though you know what i mean so like but it, it for me it's great because like you know meeting you guys i was like oh wow, these guys are exactly <laughs> who i thought they were <laughs> Yeah, that I'm first meeting was word. hilarious. <laughs> Bonding over fucking vinegar. Yeah, we was... drink vinegar. <laughs> so good. <laughs> we gotta do that shit again. <laughs> oh shots God. of vinegar next time. <laughs> yeah. oh, fucking shots of vinegar. Oh, <laughs> let's see who can drink the most. Like, we gotta mix this. that with we gotta mix that with sake because we're gonna get fucked up. But <laughs> anyways, um. I, I just want to thank you guys. I just want to thank you, Marie and Jenny, for coming on the podcast. Talking stirred <laughs> us. We shot the shit, but... Yeah, we feed off each other's energy. This is great. <laughs> this was great. No, this was good. Yeah. This was good. And right now, we're going to do our own mukbang because you want, yeah. you want to do a mukbang. So anyway, I want to give a shout out to uh, Cookie Mama. Uh, you can find them on Instagram, Cookie Mama Co. This is actually my friend Gabby. Um, she made a, a company for oh, awesome. um, her cookies. Right, yeah. so I have three different kinds. I have thank um, you so much Snickerdoodle. Ooh, uh, is that ube? There is a ube Oreo. One. Yeah. Ube Oreo. Uh, there's a chocolate chip. There's Ooh. two chocolate chip left, so you it's guys awesome. can take your I'll picks. have it right now. Oh. I can't eat a whole one. Split one with me. I'll split one ube. Yeah, yeah sure guaranteed. Yeah. But yeah, I'll give. A, yeah, I just wanna let people Peace know. Yeah. Mark. Oh. <laughs> That's why she's the marketer. That's why yeah. she's the social media marketer. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Oh. Um, well, what what I really liked about it was the smell. Ooh. And I, I got to smell it Beautiful. like out of the wrappers. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll take a um I'll take a snickerdoodle actually. Snickerdoodle. Yeah, I, I never tried oh. the snickerdoodle. This one that one. <laughs> it's just the one that doesn't have the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> um What do you guys it's think? Good. It was good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, Ube Gabby. Oreo? Ube Oreo. Mm. 
but um she used to have a business in well she used to live in um hawaii now she lives in vegas oh wow she just moved to vegas so i got these shipped out actually today so i just got them today it was really good you could actually wow. taste the ube mm -hmm. mm. it doesn't overwhelm the oreo or the ube yeah mm. it's pretty balanced i can't yeah. even fucking open this <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Your ASMR is lasting a little too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just ASSMR. <laughs> but, uh, mm. 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 they could do a so good. It's chewy. Mm. You guys want a piece? Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just tear off oh, the... a small piece. Small, yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I like that they're also like soft cookies. Mm -hmm. mm. These ones are a little um, crispier. Okay. Cause like, I love um, crispy cookies. Because <laughs> I asked for <laughs> crispy <hair cookies. laughs> But yeah, she has a website. Um, and she does pop-ups in Las Vegas right now. Mm. But she did it in... Um, she just had her first one in Vegas. I think a couple weeks ago. Oh, wow. Well, actually, actually <laughs> when people see this episode, it's going to be like four weeks maybe. <laughs> or something like that. Um, but yeah, she does a really good job. Mm. You know, she's an accountant, which is funny. You, <laughs> we're, we're co-workers. <laughs> And then, um, but she she has a degree in uh, culinary. Oh uh, wow! Culinary oh, arts. That's I awesome. Believe. No, you're great. She can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she does a really good job. So shout out to Gabby. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Real quick, um, do you guys have any social medias you guys want to shout out, or anything you guys want to shout <laughs> out here? <laughs> Besides our personal one, no? um, <laughs> near and dear to my heart. Every Wednesday is DNB's Club Night. Mm -hmm. I am the bottle service manager over there. So if you guys ever need a bottle, let me know. We are fully launching it very soon. Right now, it's by request. Mm. But um, yeah, and our club nights have been popping. I don't know if you guys have been watching my story or Whoa. not. It's but <laughs> what, it started off with... Gravy. Um, young Gravy. Yeah, we had Pilo first. OGZ, mm. YG, Young Gravy, cool as fuck. Mm. Um, and then Common Kings did a little mm. mini concert for us. That was amazing. Wow. Nothing but good vibes. Mm. Nothing but good vibes. He was standing on the table. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. He was standing on the table. Yeah, I spent like three days with those guys. They are <laughs> so awesome. Mm. Like they're and you know what? To give a little backstory, Common Kings, I listened to Wait in Your Water. 10 years ago, mm -hmm. 2013. And it came full circle for me because I met them, right, a couple of days ago, and their music literally saved my life mm. after the separation. Um, I was at a really, it was in a really dark place, mm -hmm. and music was the one thing that really got me through. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of their songs, mm. them, and I don't know how to say um, Maoli. <laughs> Maoli? Ma Maoli. Yeah, yeah. Maoli. Their music. Some really people say Maoli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's wrong, though. <laughs> yeah, their music saved my life. So it was like a dream come true to meet them and actually get to know them, you know? Mm -hmm. Get to know them as people. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, anyways, re period. Don't ask me why. I mean, it's gonna be in the <laughs> video anyway. <laughs> but if it's but if it's audio, people don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just put in the caption. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it does go in the caption. I will say that. But I don't know. Periods so people... and underscores. Yeah. <laughs> Just put Marie <laughs> Misunami. Just put that, and, and you're gonna fire. <laughs> How about you, Jenny? Neko dot. Waifu underscore. Where'd you get that name from anyway? Neko just means cat, cat, but a lot of people think it's my name. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Neko. yeah. So a lot of people I, I think Tsunami is my last name. So, <laughs> like Johnny Tsunami. Yeah. <laughs> I hear people call Jenny like yeah. in public. Neko. Neko, is that you? Neko. And then they're like, Tsunami? <laughs> the tsunami. <laughs> It's so funny. So funny. You know, funny story with, with, with Kelsey, right? People think she, her name is Jedi, right? Her first name is Jedi. And then, like... Um, I'm so then, guilty of that. <laughs> I have to. You know what? I don't call her Kelsey sometimes. I used to call her, yeah, by her Instagram. <laughs> and, and people... 
<laughs> I was going to ask her, how did you get that name? I didn't even know your name was Gavin until Jenny said it. <laughs> I saw the I saw the compi, but like I was like, okay, maybe you know I don't know what I thought your that, name that's was. That's funny, man. I know when she said Gavin, I was like, Gavin. <laughs> I, you you know, rarely people say compi. Okay. Rarely, like the, the but they know me as Gavin. I guess okay. well because they read my bio, it says hi, my name is Gavin on it. <laughs> so you know what I mean. I want to establish that before anything. But funny thing about Kelsey. Uh, we had a, we had an actress who was um, on one of our films, mm-hmm. and and she never met Kelsey before. She's like, "Am I gonna? Uh, <laughs> am I gonna get?" To- yeah, yeah, but she's like, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna get to meet Jedi." <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the cutest thing, but I was cracking up. Was just- <laughs> That's so cute. For <laughs> innocent kid. Oh, yeah, by the kid. way, um, how did you and Kelsey meet? Oh. Uh, we Tell met at church. Story. Okay, okay. Yeah, we met at church. Well, I, well, I would give her my gift she had. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we met at church. Um, we, were, we were good friends at the time. So we were uh, we were both, both serving in high school ministry oh, nice. together at church. And, um, and then they, we were just friends at the time. She actually thought it was very loud. <laughs> that was her first you impression are. of me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be. <laughs> Sometimes I have to be. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, what happened was like, we got closer when like, I, I was working at a drug rehab clinic and she needed a full-time job cause she used to work at like L and L. So, um, so I remember like, you know, I reached out to her and was like, Hey, do you want a job? You know, we were looking for a receptionist at my place and, and you know, she, she actually got hired, but, um, the drug rehab clinic, we had multiple sites. So she was supposed to be a reception receptionist at a different clinic or a different site. Um, however, the, the person that got hired for my primary site where like my office was and everything, mm-hmm. um, she only worked like half a day and then she disappeared. Oh. Like literally, oh. like she got sick. She said she got sick oh, no. and she just disappeared. We never saw her again. Oh, no. Actually, I can't say I did see her again. <laughs> but she doesn't remember me but i remember her because she, <laughs> she she fucking ditched us and and i saw her at an eye doctor appointment <laughs> so, <laughs> but um but yeah she like she disappeared so kelsey ended up being the receptionist at the main site where i was working mm-hmm. and my office was next to her so from there we we really bonded Wow. Um, but before that, yeah, we it's meant we, to be. Yeah. <laughs> I drew on the whiteboard in his office. Oh yeah, she, she drew on my whiteboard all the time. Aww. That's funny because all all I would do. You be, guys still have a whiteboard? <laughs> we, we do have a whiteboard, <laughs> but it's you. very it's a lot smaller. Than one. <laughs> it's okay. It's the symbolism. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, from from there we we got like really close, and I, I remember um, mm. she she considers this our first date, Aww. but um, I don't. Okay. I, I just thought of okay. it like I'm just taking her out somewhere. Uh-huh. So uh, she always wanted to go to Sant, um, not Santoka, but um, uh, Shokuro's, because oh. she she always wanted um, like a honey toast, because like her old yeah, I remember that her old boyfriend <laughs> wanted like honey toast, or I mean she he always told her like oh I'm gonna take you to get honey toast and mm-hmm. stuff like that, and so um, I was like Shokuro's, I always fucking go there, you know what I mean? So like I remember I I brought her there, and. I just thought of it like a hanging out session. Like she never went there, so I was like, "Oh yeah, just come." Like mm-hmm. I fucking go here all the time, right? I would eat there by myself sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like literally. So I was just like, "Oh, I actually have someone with me to eat." <laughs> How do you tell us what? And um, I guess that would be like our first date. We went there and we just talked story. And then I remember I got a Steelers hat <coughs> later on. Mm-hmm. So, and then we I brought her home. And then I had a um, Toyota Sienna, like a like a really like a '92 Toyota Sienna was at the time, and I drove her home. And and then we were just talking story in the car for like another hour or so. Like she didn't want to leave, I guess. <laughs> but I was just dropping her off, and she's like, "Oh no, can we just like park yeah. and we can talk story?" And then yeah, we, so from there, yeah, we just really bonded. So. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out to Kelsey. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, from there, things just really blossom. Nice. And, and how yeah. long have you guys been together? 
Uh, together, I'd say seven, maybe eight. No, seven years. Seven something years. Oh, yeah, seven, eight years. But I'll, I'll say married, we've been together for six years. Nice. Six plus, actually. Nice. Yeah. Oh. So. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is, how often do you guys fight? Mm hmm. <laughs> it's like we're interviewing you now. <laughs> That's interesting. No, because we, 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 we don't usually fight. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. But, um, but I mean, we, Healthy we have disagreements. Fun. Healthy disagreements. Yeah. We, yeah. But we, but we, we've, we've always come to a resolution mm -hmm. at the end and we, we try to work things out. Yeah. You both seem pretty level headed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. We don't really fight. We kind of just give each other the quiet treatment. <laughs> no, I, I don't like, we don't yell. Yeah. Oh. And I don't, I don't know. I don't, feel like yelling just because like a lot of times like i feel like you when you're in that emotional state you mm -hmm. just say things that you don't want to you like you regret later right <clears throat> so i just refuse to like even in like regular fights i refuse to yell. if i ever did mm -hmm. that means i'm really fucking bad yeah. yeah but um but that's like rarely mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah um but i i mean rarely i get like mad yeah it takes know? a lot to get me mad for sure yeah mm-hmm what, 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 but when what, I'm what mad, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say. <laughs> Honestly, we're like a lot of things. We're too grown. We're too grown for really to be fighting. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of the time it's like, just agree to disagree. Like, yeah. That's it. Let mm -hmm. it go. It's not even worth energy. Mm hmm You know, and honestly, it comes down to respect, right? Mm hmm How much respect you have for that person you're fighting with or disagreeing with. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, how about you, Jenny? How how uh, often do you get mad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a whole. <laughs> I have yeah, anger I issues. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, oh, for real, <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow, interesting. I have my pet peeves, and like when I feel like I'm not being heard, and it right. comes that's... down to communication. Mm. When people yell, a lot of the time it's because they feel like they're not being heard. I feel like. Mm. Right. Yeah. Trying to get their point across, but really the problem is. The other person just not understanding, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, yeah. I think that's a a good thing to be like, mad about. <laughs> 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 but I feel like silent treatment is worse because, like in your case, at least you guys talk about after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I presume, but like I need to learn how to take a step back and and like sit down and relax and then mm -hmm. talk about it. Mm. But yeah, you need to take yeah, a decompress. Moment, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I it's just something done, though. <laughs> you don't want to see Jenny mad. <laughs> I mean, that's good that you recognize that, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going into, like, it's going to be like a part two. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> don't say Jenny. But, <laughs> yeah. Gonna destroy trying. another one of these. <laughs> bourbon, bourbon bitches problems. <laughs> anyway, I, I just want to say thank you guys for coming on the show. And I, I really appreciate it. You know, it was fun. This was a good. This was good for yeah. me. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's always good to fun. it's always good to talk story with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Um. So at the end of every show, we always do a comp pie. So, do we oh. even have? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we out. have. <laughs> we have that. <laughs> we have I have this. You want some Schmecter? <laughs> I'll try some. You want, you, I'll take. Wait, I'll take this. Around. It's not slow case. <laughs> I'll try it. I will say this yeah. one. This one is strong. Wait. Okay. Let me finish this one then. <laughs> but but this. Let me. Let me. It's good. <laughs> Shasa Oki Sake. I mean, it's super good. I, I oh. told Kevin this, and I honestly, I'm I'm sold. It's good. It's good sake. But it'll fuck you up if you I drink too much. I love the bottle, too. It's just so convenient. <laughs> yeah. Where the aluminum? Yeah. yeah. Where the fuck awesome. all these ants come from? There was an ant right here. <laughs> <laughs> like, on the, There's on the none bottom. on the table. <laughs> what the fuck? That was, that was weird. What yeah, the? This is a heavy, heavy pour. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> this is to both of you in your careers, in life in general, in your relationships <laughs> and and everything in between. Happy to connect with you guys. Happy to connect. Kanpai. Kanpai. Bye. Bye.